Greetings, Daniel Persetto here for Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to go over 3D text in Photoshop again because there were some questions regarding um, some of the functionality or some of the things I was doing. So I'm going to start over here and if you don't see the 3D button, it's grayed out, you need to look at the system requirements online. If you search Photoshop system requirements, you should be able to have like the first or second hit there easy. I'm going to go ahead and put the text tool down, lay down some text here. It's really tiny so we're going to blow it up really large here so we can see it. And I just clicked on the option bar and just dragged it um, with shift. Now I'm going to move this here. I'm going to go back to the text tool and you're going to notice that there's a 3D button on your options bar. Again if you don't see these things or they're grayed out you need to check the system requirements because there are um, system requirements for that. 512 megabyte VRAM on your card and whatnot. But anyway, so then if you see the 3D button, you can just click that button and it'll change this into 3D or you can change it here, 3D extrusion, or from the menu, new 3D extrusion from selected layer. There are different ways to do this. It's going to say, do you want to go to 3D workspace? I'm going to say no to this right now because I have my workspace already the way I like it. And there you go. Now if I undo this, I can just go back to the text tool and I can click that 3D button. I'll don't show that again and say no. And there you go. Now this gold um, line around this canvas means you're in the camera mode. It says scene or current view. For the recent update in January for 14.2, um, it's always on the camera mode. Um, whether it's scene or current view and there are reasons for that I'll have to go into another video but in any case you can move around your object like you're walking around your object and that's that's how you create the 3D text right there that's that function so if you want to edit this text now you can select it on canvas or you'll see that it's selected in your 3D panel again you'll need to get to your 3D workspace you need the 3D panel up and you'll see that it's selected here the letters you can also manually select it from the 3D panel here. It's much easier. And they'll no you'll notice that the properties change. There's a properties panel. You'll need that up as well. So you can see whatever you click here, there's a property for these functions down here, these selections. And in this case, I selected the 3D text. And there's an edit source button. You can go ahead and click that edit source, and it's going to open a smart object. These are smart objects, so just like you create smart objects in Photoshop. They're PSB files. And you can edit this, and I can say DP now. And I'll go ahead and hit the checkbox here to commit that. So now it's there, and I'm going to save it. Now let's go ahead and make, let's arrange the windows so we can see them both there. And I'm going to shrink this one a little bit. Here I go. Ah, there we go. Well, it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but there you go, it updated. Let's move this window. Let's move the object so we can actually see it a little bit here. And I can go back here to this this file, go to my text tool, I can select my text. Let's go ahead and move that over a little bit there. And again, I can hit Command Enter or Control Enter on the Windows, Command Enter on the Mac, and it'll commit that. Now I'm zooming out by accident here, because I'm on a Wacom tablet, and sometimes things go crazy. And I'm going to save it now, and it's going to update. And you can see that it updated on the panel here. Let's move this over. And that's all you have to do to save it. And you can close it out. It is a separate document because it stores the text in a separate document and it reads it back in and transforms it in the other document here. And that's the way it works. So if you have any questions, please leave some comments in the channels and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.